Hello homesteaders, cooks, and happy people. All right, today we're gonna learn how to make bagel boards. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get some boards together, okay? They could be four inches wide, it could be five inches wide, you just want it big enough to fit your bagel, all right? Most bagels are four or five inches wide. So get your boards together, okay? And you gotta have a table saw, all right? So here you can see I got a table saw and I get all my stuff together. So there's a jute roll that you want to get to, okay? So the jute roll you can get like on uh, Amazon or whatever, right? I'll give you, put the link below the video. Okay, so we're going to bring some boards out to the miter saw now. Now we're on a miter saw. And you want to measure out your boards, okay? Now the front to the back of your oven is probably going to be, you know, roughly about 16 inches for your board, okay? Because you want it to exceed the area, okay? Now you can see here what I'm doing is I'm hitting it with a board, okay? Because I got two boards stacked on top of each other. Now you can do one board at a time, okay? Which will be the standard, okay? But I'm going to cut two boards at a time, save some time. You really need a good quality saw too. You know, you don't want something that's going to, you start to saw and it, it blows all the circuits in your house, right? <laughs> you know, so get a good saw, okay? And make sure you have a nice new saw blade or at least a sharp saw blade, okay? You don't want anything binding up on you, all right? So everything's cut right there, right? So then we go board to board and we start cutting all the different boards, okay? Getting everything prepped up. Okay, now that all the boards are cut, okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start trimming these boards up. Okay, now if you got a nice, you know, square rectangular board, whatever you got going on there, okay? Then you don't need to trim anything. But here I'm using a siding board, okay? So I'm gonna trim this little end piece off. It looks like a U you could see there. Slice it right off. So you line this up on your table saw. Okay, get it all ready to go. Okay, then we're gonna trim this right off. Okay, now you might have siding boards too. Okay, so you wanna make sure, you see I'm adjusting that back and forth like that. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're just trimming that piece off. Maybe a little extra actually, because if you, if you trim a little extra off, Okay, you're not going to be left with a little piece of the U left over, okay? A lot of people have these siding boards lying around the house, all right? So it's just a good way to, you know, reuse material. You know, since it's only 16 inches long, you know, it's uh, most people have that size around, all right? So we're going to go ahead and, and trim this up now. All right, here we go. So feeling good, turn the table saw on and watch your hands because you don't want to get your hands near that blade. Okay, see that, that spinning blade, right? So here we go, trimming off that U. All right, trimming it off. Go slow. Okay, don't, if you go too fast, you're gonna bind up the blade. All right, so go nice and slow. We're sitting here, we're cutting it. It's looking good. All right, finish it up. Okay, you're gonna have a little piece left over, right? So you just toss that to the side. Then we're gonna go ahead and blow these boards off, okay? Boom, boom. There we go. All right. Blow the table off. Blow the boards off. Okay. Make everything look nicey-nicey. Okay. Because the sawdust, when you're cutting it, you know, it tends to just go all over the place. Gets all over. You can even spray yourself down. Okay. Just don't ever put the gun on your, you know, on your skin. Blow all the boards off. Okay. Get them looking good. There you go. Okay. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the staple gun. All right, the staple gun, sometimes people don't know how to put the staples in. All right, you want to do, the staple's going to go right in there, okay? So what you want to do is go ahead and release the handle at the back of the gun, okay? Squeeze it together, pinch it together, okay, pull it out, okay? Staples are going to go in that slot right there, okay? You just pop them right in, okay? And so you can see I'm taking them out, kind of showing you, you know, how they go in, all right? So that slides back and forth. And then you're going to put your staples back in, okay? Now, if you only have, like, five staples in there, okay, and then you have a whole bunch of staples, it's okay to use those five. Some people just throw it out because they think it's going to clog up the gun. But it doesn't clog up the gun at all. It's all good, okay? Go to the last drop. Or go to the last staple. <laughs> so, go ahead and put them in, okay? Sometimes they even I get confused. Look, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? All I know is they go in there. And I'm gonna close the thing. Boom. Okay. Snap it in. You'll hear a snap. It'll snap, pop. Okay. And you know it's locked in there. All right. That's how you do the staple gun. 
okay? How long do you want your staples to be depends on your wood. You don't want them to be too long because then they'll be poking through the other side, okay? So I got these T50s here, all right? That's what you want to us usually use for, you know, this kind of project, okay? And then you can see I got the, uh, some of the staples come with a flat edge, but these are like a, like a pointy edge. So when they go into the board, they really like penetrate in, okay? That's what you want. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get that jute roll ready, okay? This is the roll that the bagels go on, okay? It's like a fabric, okay? Jute is like a plant, okay? So it's like a dried plant that they kind of weave together and they make this mesh, right? And then that's where you can put the bagels on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like, I'm going to put one inch over on the back side of the board. Okay, so if you want to make these boards, okay, this is what you want to do. Okay, bagels are all ready to go. Okay, boards are all set. Bagels are ready to go. Okay, so get your trays of bagels ready to go, and you'll be all set. Okay, if you watch my previous video, you'll see how to make those bagels. Make taste taste real good. All right, so gonna go ahead and put your bagels in. Just put them right to the right there, left there, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then you put your bagels, line them right right up on the board. That's how they look when they're done, okay? Sometimes the board is going to be a little burnt on the bottom. Make sure you don't put it over the flame when you put it in the oven. Otherwise, it's going to get too burnt, okay? Here's the bagels all done, all right? Looking good, okay? I think, what, bagels are like Jewish, but, you know, I'm Italian. What are you going to do, okay? I like a good quality product, all right? And it could be frozen, too. So if you make too many bagels, okay, just put them in the freezer. Boom, okay? And there they are, beautiful bagels. So today I did you right, homesteaders, quotes, and happy people, all right? So what I want you to do is hit that subscribe button, okay? That'll be over here, okay? And then hit that like button, that'll be over here. And then right up here is a little notification bell, okay? And that'll let you know when the next video is coming out, okay? And like always, thank you.